I was thrilled when he became <clears throat> uh, Deputy Secretary of Labor. And but I, if I had known he would uh, could give a speech like that, <laughs> I would have, I would have urged the president not to appoint him, and instead to force him to run for office because. That was a terrific job. I thank you for your service. I think I owe the Secretary Clinton a royalty now. Do I owe her? So I want to begin by thanking Hilda Solis and her entire team, including Acting Secretary Seth Harris. Uh, I, um, I agree with the goal of trying to bring jobs back to the United States, but co cutting the corporate tax rate is not going to accomplish that. The marginal U.S. corporate tax rate is not so far in excess of what we see overseas that that's the decision-making point for American corporations. It is a factor, but it's a factor on a long list of other factors that are relevant to decision-making about where you're going to cite your factory. I've so, heard this one that was making the rounds a few years ago. A unionized public employee, a small government conservative, and a CEO are sitting around the table. In the middle of the table is a plate that's got 12 cookies on it. CEO reaches over, he grabs 11 of the cookies, and then he turns to the small government conservative and says, look out, that union guy wants a piece of your cookie. Um, reducing the minimum wage, uh, that, that lasted about 13 seconds in the, in the debate on the other side of the aisle. And the reason for that is it won't work. And it's just not a job creating action. Um, we see when there are increases in the minimum wage that we don't see a significant disemployment effect. We don't lose a lot of jobs when the minimum wage goes up. The, the reason for that is, my, my, here's what my labor economy, I'll break into labor economics just for a second. The, the elasticities in the low wage labor market are, are, are very low. So you don't lose a lot of jobs when you have wages going up or you don't gain a lot of jobs when wages go down. The other thing is, you know, we could impoverish ourselves as a country and, you know, completely destroy the middle class and drive people into a form of serfdom as a way to grow. I, I, it's hard to imagine that those are the values that Americans want to carry forward. It takes work. It takes a sustained commitment. It takes a plan. It takes employers reaching out to joining forces and the U.S. Department of Labor and the American Legion. It takes breaking down barriers and putting aside prejudices and old ways of thinking. It takes goals and specific dedicated efforts to meet those goals.